Hi, this is Raquel with Balloon Splendor. Uh, here's a video demonstrating a new template that I've put out for a five column backdrop with staggering heights. I've seen a number of these come through lately on Facebook and I noticed that some of them will have three spirals going one way and two going the other way or maybe the middle column is is not there so that we still have some symmetry. Well by simply doing an arrow pattern on the middle column you can have your spirals all pointing towards the middle and, and it still has uh, good symmetry. In the template I show a couple of different types of spirals. I show one with four colors and one with two colors. The two colors is a little bolder look. And there's also two different sets of columns. On this one I have the the quad, the top quad is such that one balloon is facing forward to give you a nice crisp um, arrow in the center column. And down here I end with the two balloons facing forward. And I do that because if you've got stars on top, they sit much better on top of the column if they can sit between the two balloons, between, in, between the balloons at the top of the quad. That didn't come out right. Okay, so some fun uh, fun columns to do there and I've got them demonstrating them with a couple of different toppers uh, some three foot balloons or maybe three foot foils 160 or 260 fronds, some stars up there. Alright, in this particular template that I have available on my Etsy store you do get the one colored in, you do get uh, a couple of blank templates with the different top balloons so that you can work with that. Okay, um, so if you're using Publisher 2013 and you want to save this onto your computer to use it more often, if you do a right click you can do a save as a building block and you can save this, whatever you want to do, five column backdrop. I think I've got this saved already once, oh, well, already exists, okay, we'll do this as two then when you want to start with something fresh you can just go up into your building blocks and you can start right in there and you can go in and you can color them however you want let's go ahead and do a little demo here we'll color this one in red we'll color the, we'll leave those two in white and we'll go ahead and color these two in blue like that and then if I wanted to add a little bit of an accent in there, I can double click on the individual balloons. I don't want that one down, I want this one down here until they light up. And let's go ahead and change those to blue. So there's some arrows starting. I can follow the line here and maybe these guys here. I'm gonna go ahead and make red. Oops, I clicked in the wrong place. There we go. It's because I went to a different group. That's why that did that. So, I don't know, this is kind of ugly, but just showing you how easy it is to color them in, and then you can go ahead and continue your stripe down here. Go ahead and do white. And... So kind of kind of fun. You can sit there and play around with the different patterns and obviously you could continue these stripes down and continue on. Scaling is really easy. I'm going to go ahead and regroup these together again. Uh, and I'm going to make sure my lock aspect ratio is good. So right now this set of five, uh, if you were to blow the balloons up to um, eight inches roughly, this whole thing would be about just over seven feet tall by just under ten feet wide based on the spacing that I have right here. So if that was too big and you wanted to make something smaller, let's see, this is now about five feet tall by about six and a half feet wide. If you blow the balloons up to just under five, just under six inches, then that's how that would be scaled. So scaling is really important, easy to do. Uh, you can size it to whatever you need it to be and then you can click on an individual balloon to see how big you need to inflate it. The other template that I did is very similar to this, operates very similarly, except they are spraying out, which I think is a lot more fun, 
a lot more energetic. Uh, the frames are a little bit harder to make. Um, I use half inch conduit and um, I, I bend the first two. Actually what I do is I'll lay out in my garage floor I will uh, graph it out, lay it out and everything and then just use that as my template. I like things to be kind of precise. My eyeball isn't all that good so that's how I do it. I just lay it out on a garage floor and um, bend it until the metal actually curves at the same the same way as the lines are on the floor. Um, you can use tape, you can use chalk, whatever you want so it's not like drawing on the on the floor. Um, and I think, yep, I also included a couple different ways to color them in. Here it's a kind of a pinstripe, not quite a, as bold a look. I'm, I'm a big fan of the the bold spiral. I just think it's it's really eye-catching and looking across a room it's really easy to see what that is. So you know put some sprays up here or maybe some stars, uh, maybe some round balloons with some messages on there and uh, pitch it to your customer. This is Raquel with Balloon Splendor.